do you want a pike build that can wound and deal a massive amount of damage? Well, you came to the right video. This build, this Malkarian pike is going to zip right to behemoths. You're going to slay really fast and you're going to be wounding really easily. So let's go ahead and let's go over this build and let's see how good this build can really get. We have a Malkarian shock pike here. And this pike build is insane. Even at level 9. Even at level 9, you can still take on 10 through 50. Um, terror escalation, shock escalation, doesn't matter. Um, frost escalation, doesn't matter. You can take on 10 through 50. Of course, 1 through 13 if you want. Um, and hunting grounds. So it's really strong. You see as these cells, you know, you got catalyst, cunning, galvanize, or power predator, pulse. These cells are going to push you through. And you're going to slay and destroy even at a lower level. And you're going to be popping these tonics, but you don't have to, of course, you know, with Catalyst, 60% tonic effectiveness and duration. Of course, you can replace that with, you know, Omni Surge, um, Conduit, doesn't matter. But I'm going to be using Catalyst because I want to show you all how it does with Catalyst. I'm going to be also using it without tonics. Um, it's still going to have Catalyst on it, but I'm going to show you all, you know, without the, the effects of it, it's still going to be strong. Uh, of course, Cunning gives us that crits. Uh, chance in that critical strike damage galvanize we're gonna have strike zeal or not strike zeal but uh, scarns defiance so we help with that shield that way galvanize can you know boost up that one percent bonus critical strike chance every 50 shield and we get that strike damage more crits more damage amazing slays overpower we're gonna be staggering behemoths part breaks or interrupts and yeah so 40 percent damage for stacking behemoths and this repeater is, or not repeat, these pike build, this pike build is going to be a damage based build, but you can wound. So my main focus is, you know, of course, damage slaying, but wounds is going to be so easy, so easy because you're already doing a lot of damage. And especially with Catalyst, if you pop the uh, tonic for the wounds, you're going to be doing a lot of damage, a lot of wounds. We're going to have Predator as well. We do not want to get hit. So we get that 35% damage bonus. And this is really going to help you if you're doing, you know, 10 through 50. And if you're at level 20, heroic escalation. You don't want to get hit. Um, it's going to be very risky in heroic escalation because if you do get hit, you're probably going to get one shot it, depending on which um, how many cell you have. I'm going to use Tempest. So we get those uh, part breaks. We use a special real easy and at passive attack speed. But Pulse. Every fifth hit is a guaranteed critical strike, and we get an extra strike damage as well. I'm telling you, the crits, they're important. We're going to have Catalyst Galvanize on this. Savage Wellspring, so we get that chance as well for our crits, 30%. Executor Spearhead, so we get that extra damage when we do wound, stacks five times. And of course, we have Savage Solvents um, Bond here, so we get that pulse. And the unique effect of Solvent, that spinning um, shocking disc, is very strong and it breaks parts on its own too. Scarns Defiance with Catalyst, Time Weaver Galvanize, we're going to have Time Weaver Overpower, Malkarian with Pulse, and we're going to have Thrax with Cunning. And that's going to be this build right here. I hope you all enjoy. Hopefully this, this can really, really slay. Behemoth is really good for you. It improves any fight you're in and very enjoyable. So let's go ahead and get into gameplay, man. Like and subscribe. Road to 2K. We're getting there. We're really close, y'all. We're really close. I appreciate all the support. Let's go.